Hello, hello and welcome to another update video about Ethereum. So yeah, on the ETH chart, we've seen here um, pretty much no price action after CPI report release. So the inflation data hasn't really moved crypto markets. We see a little bit of green today and maybe it's going to go a little higher. I mean, the stock market did go a little higher today. Um, and as I said in the previous video, we need to cope, keep an open mind for potentially a higher B wave. The idea is that we rallied in five waves to the 3rd of July high. Um, and then here an A, B, C structure to the downside is still the preferred view because the move that happened of the 7th of July low, yeah, it just doesn't give a lot of confidence for something more bullish. So it looks very corrective A, B, C in a larger B wave or this could, of course, turn into an even larger B wave as an A wave, a B wave, and here a C wave, right, of larger B. So the B wave would still have space. Mm. The reason is that this is quite likely due to, first of all, we're pushing against resistance again. Yeah, 1895 was resistance. We broke above that, but the intraday high is 1900. So I commented in the live stream I made earlier that a break above 1900 will, will most likely lead to an extension of the B wave. It seems to be that we're going that way. Yeah, so I'm going to change that quickly here now. Uh, it seems to be that we're going that way. And then off, um, off here, you know, we would look at a C wave to the downside. The thing is, I don't have any strong um, signals that this is already the third wave to the upside, which is unfolding. It should really be a rocket start, but we haven't really seen much other than a bit of a green engulfing candle right now. And the structure is just simply not there. It just looks corrective. So we need to keep an open mind that this could extend a bit higher, yeah, but probably only in a corrective fashion. We looked at possible targets for this B wave in previous videos. And target wise, we're looking here for the area um, around 19.03, that is the 50% FIB level, that is the Monday high, the 61.8 FIB level 19.20 and the 78.6 at 19.45. Only really sustained break about above 19.45 would unlock something more bullish, but then the problem is still that the structure is just not there. It's not impulsive. So we haven't really got any clear impulsive price action at the moment. It can always happen, but at the moment it's just the preferred the preferred view would still be for a lower C wave deeper into the yellow support area. And if it happens, I'm watching for 1760 to 1800. That's the golden ratio, the 61.8 retracement and the 50% FIP level. Um, at the moment, the 1-2 setup I had on the chart is not invalidated. I already commented in the last video that this is not a reliable wave one. So just take it with a pinch of salt because it looks very much like a three wave move. So would rather suggest higher, but it could, unless we break above that high, be a wave one in a leading diagonal. Now the upside here is getting quite strong now. So obviously we need to be on our toes here and be aware that a break above that um, Monday high will lead to invalidation of a yellow one too, but it wouldn't mean bullish yet. Yeah? It, it probably still means we need to be a bit more, pay, a bit more patient and it could lead to a little bit more upside before we finally come down in this C wave. Bear in mind, despite all of that, what I'm telling you, yeah, it's just that here we don't really have the nice reversal structure that we want to see for a third wave rally. But if you zoom out, don't forget to zoom out. Yeah? Um, the overall, the bigger picture still suggests that we are most likely getting into a third wave rally here. So the, the overall trend is up at the moment. But I just don't have a very, very clear vision of, you know, going higher directly. It would rather lead to lower before we attempt a rally. Also on this chart, um, a like, you know, a possible head and shoulders pattern here with a neckline at 1843. And you can see here resistance within the red resistance zone, previous structural resistance of the left shoulder around 1930, 1935. So it might very well be that if we go any higher than the Monday high, the um, first of all, the golden ratio is a likely target at 1920 and those spikes, those swing highs of the uh, 21st of June, 22nd of June, 24th of June, 25th of June. 
So yeah, these are the levels I'm watching. Um, if we go any higher, I'll probably scale out a bit more depending on how high we go. I did that already. When did I scale out? Here on Monday that was. I took some profits. We go any higher. I'm gonna take a few more profits. We'll start to scale in again in the yellow area. So it's just a bit of gridding manually. Bitcoin the same. Um, but yeah, overall volatility is pretty poor at the moment. That's the best I can tell you at the moment about um, Ethereum. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.